hair a bit. Just been having a look at a snail, haven't we? Come, come over here, don't squash a snail. Why? Let's, let's let them see the snail. Where's that snail gone? There he is. A tiny snail. He's a little bit scared because somebody was putting a plastic blue ladybird near him and he got a bit frightened. I think they have one leg, Mum. I think snails have one leg? Yeah. I don't think they have any legs. I think they slide along the floor. He's flying over and he doesn't trust them. He's just sitting there. Mm -hmm. And he sees it and then he flies away. Mm -hmm. He's scared of that snail. Have you finished your spoobaloos? Got you a ladybird there. Okay. We're getting our sunshine, aren't we? After nursery, we like to play in the garden and get a bit of sunshine. Because the sun is nice and gentle at four o'clock. It's a really relaxing effect that breastfeeding has. And there's nothing like it. I guess what it does for the mum is, well, probably for the child too, is to take you into the parasympathetic nervous system. So the rest and digest the relaxed, restorative side of the nervous system. I want to see the snail. I want to see the snail. He has I think he wants to come out. Yeah, so it's a lovely experience to sit down with your child and stop, stop everything and just breastfeed. It really does have a calming, nurturing effect on both, both the child and the mother. He's rolling on the floor, Mum. Yes, he is. He's a real one. He's a real ladybird. He's just a real one. Yeah. He's just walking on the floor. Mm -hmm. Do you want to have the other side? Oh, you finished. Mine, mine that snail. Oh. There you go. Oh, it's a ladybird. There you go. Twiddling the other one. Twiddle, twiddle. Snails have big eyes. Big eyes. <laughs> Somebody asked me how many times does Shay feed in a day and um, it's 
pretty consistently every morning and every evening but uh, he will if I'm around and if I'm if, if he's not busy he will uh, ask me or just make it known that he wants some milk be, be gentle with this snail a couple of other times in the day but if yeah if we're around each other the whole day he will ask more uh, da, 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 da. could you come away from that camera please yeah if i'm around more he will ask me more often. can you look up the ladybird it's so high yeah. there's a bee on you man oh, there he is yeah get off bee off you go bee yeah, so it could be maybe four times a day, three times a day. Do you come away from that camera, please? He wants to look at it and bite it. Yeah, so it's, it's definitely past that stage where it was a He's lot of feeding on the and tower, feeling exhausting man. and me wondering when was he ever going to stop or when was he ever going to decrease speeds. Um, it is really not a bother at all to be breastfeeding him. Um, it doesn't... Yeah, there are times sometimes if I'm busy and I'm doing something on the computer, for example, and he will want attention, he'll ask me, please don't move it. What is it? Please don't touch that. We're Why? recording right now. We're recording right now, so please don't touch anything. If you're going to touch anything, I need to take you away. Can you do it without touching anything? That's it. You can just touch it gently like that, but please don't press any buttons. The ladybug sitting on it. Yes, he is. She wants to look at you. Is he looking at me? Yeah. Don't scare me. No, I just touched the snail. Sorry, snail. You, yakka doodle doo. Ew. <laughs> yeah, so for any mums out there who are thinking, oh God, I really couldn't feed a four year old, it would be too much and if they're imagining that it's as often as maybe a two-year-old or a three-year-old or a even younger baby it really isn't and yeah, of course I can't speak for every four-year-old who still breastfeeds but largely from what I've heard kids tail off to usually ju often just mornings and evenings and sometimes even less sometimes just evenings depending on the family depending on if the mum has done any kind of weaning any kind of cutting out certain feeds of the day. I, I haven't personally done any of that. Shay's just naturally gone down to three or four feeds a day on average. Um, so yeah, it, it's easy. It's really easy now. And I, it hasn't always been easy. There have been challenges on my breastfeeding journey or our breastfeeding journey. There's two ones. Two ones, two ladybirds. Yeah. So yeah, that's all for today really. Okay, I'm going to go and attend to these two ladybirds on my camera and I'll speak to you soon. Lots of love.